Welcome back to the Sanctuary in Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Kuznick X along with Lord Phyrax. Yo. Coralash. Hello. And Arya Stormborn. The story so far, we are planning on... We are here to complete the trial of reeds um and we've discovered that their ceremonial float is uh in much need of repair so we're about to go visit the shipwright so let's talk to linu hanu and complete a well-mannered shipwright the shipwright's name is wook evu he is a brawl who only moved to cut Zamulka a few years ago, but has since mastered our customs to an almost frightening degree. He's especially strict when it comes to manners, so make sure to offer him a proper Hanu Hanu greeting. We wouldn't want to offend him right before asking a favor. A proper Hanu Hanu greeting? Oh, that one! Don't worry, I remember how it goes. We shouldn't have any problems. Let's head to Okbekbi. The east of here. I gotta say, I am loving the teleport. Icon, uh, icon tab for Dawn Trail, the whole gold and the whole gold motif. Mm. All right, let's talk to Lino Hanu. This is Okbigby, the village of all those who drift into Kazamaoka from Tuliolal and elsewhere are welcome to live here alongside the Hanu. As for Wokevu, he lives and works by in the House of Waters High at the top of that large tree nearby. Follow me. But I should warn you, climb up the stairs can be challenging. Wokevu kushe avec moi. Was that English? I, I, yeah. I love you. I know what you were trying to to do there, and it failed. Totally. It did not. Ah, Seribod banned and threw the ban hammer at Set Fun Two Two Eight for spam. What? Seribod. Yeah, Sari bot freaking threw the ban hammer at someone who was about to spam our our chat. Good boy. And Hamas Slama! Anyway, let's talk to Wukevu. That's whatever you were saying for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm? What do you want with me? Right. Does he look just me, or does he look like a wrong stuff? Yeah. He does. But with glasses, which is weird. A lion Ronzo. Oh, Kali! And now they feel like right ninnies. <laughs> Good. You brought your manners with you. Or not. When you know Kano, do as the Hanu do. 
For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. You! You're Wu Clamont! Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wu Kevu. Here I am, prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. <laughs> there is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Please take up your axe and claim my impudent head. I will not. Keep your head. I hate formalities <laughs> anyway, so forget about it, alright? Alright then. Consider it for God's rest. Yeah. <laughs> too fast. How prompt. Yeah, you said it, Kryl. <laughs> We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone? Uh, Abokisha? Abokisha, that's what it is. That I do. But while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. We can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable! A gross violation of social protocol. I kind of want to know. <laughs> uh, before we continue, Wu I, I gotta search something because Wookie Wu's voice sounds so familiar. And it's gonna bug the ever loving fuck out of me if I don't figure it out. Joe Hernandez, that's who it is. Um, he's. He's also in, um, he's also in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Anyway, continuing. I told you not to worry about such things. All right, then. I shan't worry a whit. <laughs> What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season and have come along oh, I to went oversee the float's repair. I went too low on the voice for Linu Hanu. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha Where did to you friends, find I that, honey? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola or the find what? and you should find I... the stones you need. Um, who the voice actor was. 
Oh, I just looked up Wuke Vu uh, voice, and literally one of the top ones was Joe Hernandez's. Uh, um, he's in. A, he's in quite his a few Twitter. It, it literally put. It pulled up and it said, no. and, and I quote, now that it's officially out, I can share I've that I'm the voice of, twice. I can up. guide you. It says, uh -huh. now that it's officially uh, out, that. it says, now that it's officially out, I can share that I'm the voice of Wukevu and Brukevu in the latest expansion for Final Fantasy XIV Online Dawn Trail. A big thank you to Square Enix, Side LA, and Vox USA for making, for all making this happen. Big thanks to Sarcastic Cat for the screenshots. Uh. That should save us some time. All right, then. Let's get moving. Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress. He's not the chosen one. I am the chosen ah, one. Ihiana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to the leader, there can be only it one. might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> The third-rate promise is making herself useful, after all. This guy is such a tool. No, I disagree. No. Tools are useful. I was gonna say, it's an insult to tools. Hmm. And the band tool. Anyway, in Ohano, Cave Kikitola is southwest of Ohano. We can return to the village first and head there on foot. Right, let's ride. discovered a new location. Listen here, Rhino Beetle. I gotta say, this is... This battle music is probably my favorite out of all the expansions. Uh -uh. Southwest of here, was it? Let us be on our way. I see rhino beetles getting killed by paintings. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, 
Hanu? Cave Kikitoa. Cave Kikitola has promised. Home to many deadly creatures. Venture inside if you feel confident, but I will conduct my own search out here. You can spot raw abak Akisa by its green hued glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. I shall scour the cave the inside of the cave then. You take the west half and I'll take the east. a chunk of stone glowing a distinct shade of green. This seems like the exact kind of mineral Ninohana was searching for. Yay. All right, I gotta bring back Ruby though for a second. Follow the river. And through the wood. All right. I picked over the ground near the entrance, but found nothing. Did you have better luck inside the cave? Yes, this is Abokisha. Along with Cryo's contribution, we have more than enough for our needs. The stones you brought shine very brightly. Thank you both. That's nice. He would have been happy to know we were pu putting things right. Truth be told, good friend of mine was meant to be festival leader for this year's Ihihana. But when that big storm hit, he... He did not survive. Held to me to carry on in his stead. That was why you agreed to Wuklamark's request. Despite your initial reluctance. Yes. Had to hear. She was right. Though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize that the path to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me. And I will walk it. For myself, or my friend. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Please, rest assured that we've taken your plight to heart. I'm certain our companions are procuring the other materials as we speak. Everything will come together, and the Hanu shall host a splendid, uplifting festival. That we shall. With that, let's return and deliver the Abakisha to Bukavu's waiting hands. some of this.
casa. Rubido's making some progress now. Hell, I'm almost to rank 17 now. Maybe by, yeah. the, end, maybe by the end of this patch, we'll have uh, finally maxed him out. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, I know. You guys are already ahead of me on your Chocobo companions. Oh, your Chocobo. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have been for a long time. Serenity is only at level 11. Getting the uh, onions is. Well, I still got two left. What do you mean? How many are you supposed to give them? One per level. Oh. I thought it was you could. I thought if you gave it one, it went up. It, you could get it up to it, 10 it, levels. Every every onion r raises the max level. So when you, mm -hmm. when you hit level 11, you can beat another one. It's maxed up to 12. Oh. That's so lame. So you, you, you're at 11? Eat, All right, back up the stairs. Winded going up those stairs. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks to the third promise and our mighty swings, we've collected some suitable logs of Uyu Ipo. What are the Abokisha? Yes, these are excellent samples. Oh, a goodly quantity, too. This stage should likely surmise that the lifting of the wings encourages the crops to grow, but not exactly how, eh? Well, you're in for a treat. If all goes to plan, that should be spectacular. Now, get to work crafting these pieces for the float. You could use an assistant burst in the arcane arts to enhance the Uyuipo's conductivity. Then I'd be delighted to help. Everyone else should head back to Okanu. We'll join you at the float once the work here is complete. Hmm. All right, back to Okanu, and I will take this teleport offer. Who's ever it was. It was mine. It was amazing. Understandable. Gathering the Uyuepo was a trial in and of itself. At first, <clears throat> sorry, at first, 
Wuke Wu criticized everything I did. Then he suddenly yelled, I've spoken ill of the third promise and must punish myself, and proceeded to slam his head into an U Uyuipo tree. <laughs> yeah. I told him not to worry about it, again, and it was like snuffing out a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. At least we've seen to the bulls in the new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. We should get some rest before the excitement begins. Yeah. Over there, by the float. Isn't that it her promise? Then the rumors are true. She's trying to complete the feat of reeds by reviving Ihihana. Festival is a pre- Yeah, for healthy crops. Does she honestly believe that will be enough to save our harvest? The second promise, meanwhile, barely glanced at the fields before leaving Okanu altogether. Maybe we asked too much of our young claimant. Oh, I wouldn't be too quick to count Kona out. A friend of mine overheard him by muttering by the reeds. Something about what needs to be done. Is that so? Perhaps we'll get to see another of his in innovations firsthand. <laughs> that sounds like our Kona. One look at the reeds was all he needed to think up a solution. Be that as it may, our own solution is ready. Indeed. As soon as the others get back, a long-awaited festival can begin. Took some doing, but we managed to gather competitors to vie for the title of wins chosen. The winner was only too happy to donate his feathers. You should have seen it. He called forth an incredible gust that sent his feathers sailing for moms. We had a turn ourselves, but it's more difficult than it looks. Poor Aaronville's twirled in the air for a moment before landing on his foot. I am a gleaner. Magic is not part of our training. As for us, we brought the wood and gemstone replacements crafted by Wu Kevu. All that's left is to attach them. Has it been decided who will ride the float? Papa was the guest of honor the last time I was here. I remember being surprised they could even lift the thing with his hulking weight on top of it. The rider must be a personage of great esteem, which is why an invitation is usually extended to the dawn servant. This time, however, I have another in mind. Oh, who is it? Our beloved Ihihana, the lifting of wings, is only being held because of you and your companions. Thus do I nominate you, Wuk Lamat, as our guest of honor. Huh? Me? This spot won't make me seasick, will it? I don't think so. <laughs> then wait, Anchor. I can hardly re refuse a request from one even more enthusiastic about the festival than me. I would be delighted to ride your throat. Thank you, Wuklamat. I have rose for the rest of you as well. We'll be carrying the festival float in a slow procession towards Kozan... Koza... Mm, Kozanwaki. The sacred likeness of Kisha... Kisha-ihi. kisha, 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 kisha is his 
What I'd like you to do is clear the path of dangerous wildlife so that the procession can move along unimpeded. Consider it done. You expect me so. to sit still until Wuke Vu has finished with the float? Let me come along and help with the clearing. As you know, I'm not much for fighting. I'll stay behind and assist Wuke Vu with the repairs. If you aren't sure where you need to go, the path I spoke of begins at the south of the village and branches off to the east. That will lead you across the bridges to the stride of the sun. Then we shall see to clearing it end to end. Gonna have some fun. Alright, Wook Lamont. As Leno Hanu said, Kozanoaki should be down this way, then off to the east when the branch path branches. Then, something about bridges and the stride of the sun? Anyway, let's split up and get to work. Once you've called all the threats you can find, we'll meet up in front of Kishat Hihi. Oof. lead paint because it's toxic I don't know. I'm gonna turn it into paint uh there it is It didn't show up at first. Okay, so Rough Divide got freaking taken out of the running for this new ability of Gunbreaker's trajectory. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay. Okay. I haven't tried uh, Gunbreaker yet. New location. How about that? I discovered a new location. Yep. Wow, me too. Really? I know. What a fascinating. What a fascinating development. Yep. And a new zone will have new. Ocelots. I have it. Wow. I think I have just got an M next to it, which I'm guessing means it's a boy? No, that's just the letter they put on the targets. Well, that's dumb. And here is Kozanowaki. <laughs> ah, you were a step ahead of us. This must be the likeness of Kishi Ihi. Kisha Ihi. There we go. 
the Hano Hano deity of the harvest. <sighs> it reminds me of something I saw in Academia Anita. One of the ancient's creations. Tis possible a vestigial memory of that time endured. A subconscious recollection from the inheriting soul providing the basis for an entirely new religion. I have no idea what that means. As far as I know, Kisha Ihi was worshipped on another continent. This ancient faith was then brought to Tural by the first Hanu Hanu. The, Han the Hanu migrated here from another continent. And mayhap the two do share a common ancestor. This is all very fascinating, but shouldn't we be getting back to Lino Hanu? He'll want to know the path is safe for the procession. Right. And I need to ride on the float. I'll run ahead and tell him we're done here. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, back in Okanu. <laughs> Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? As many times as you'd like. The wow, Lord Promise tasked me with repairing this float, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. I oh. wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to <laughs> kill you. We have a two-headed problem. Yes, please hurry. She's on her way back already? Stand back, Wukevu! I will protect the float! <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again! This is a priceless treasure! And as festival leader, I would die to protect it! Uh, very well. If that's what you want. Akuchacha! Now for the fun to begin. Now, now, now we get to skin of the. God. Stop, Mark. I put everything into that blow. Good. The better for you to understand the gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Let me at him. Let me at him. Your brilliant plan was to steal the float and take the credit. The so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. <laughs> Your scorn is sweet music. Come, weaklings. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Calm yourself, chosen one. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, 
We have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm. Then it would be foolish to expand effort, sweating nuts. <laughs> Lucky for you. Hey. I will cut off both your heads. I'll hang. I'll hang one above my wall and the other will stand right in front of my desk. Ugh, two hands. Please no. I see my mook still That's gonna be to that really cre that would be hope. really creepy to look up and see at night. So the question is, what's he gonna do with the third one? To us, third promise. You're not dying, are you? <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. So, are we having this festival or not? Yes, yes, we are. Uh. All's well that ends well. Thank you for coming to our rescue. I tried to protect the float, but against that two head, I may as well have not been there at all. Nonsense! You stood your ground and bought us the time we needed to make it back. You were incredibly brave. Ah, so sweet. All right, let's take another quick break. Or actually, no, let's continue. With that exciting interlude over, you'll be pleased to know that my repairs are finished as well. Before we commence the festival, however, it would be a courtesy to inform the villagers that Ihihana will be held after all. Go forth! Do not forget your greetings! This stage, I should hope, the reminder is unnecessary. Oh, Kali! See? I remember! But well, we don't know the emote. With it, with it. Okay. The chat mode and say use your keyboard or the software keyboard to enter any phrase containing the words Oho Kali to greet the Akanu visitors or villagers. Because people are totally going to make up sentences and not just say what's required. Yeah. A A L I Y. Oh, Kali. Okay. Where, where are they? Thank you for letting me know. I would very much like to attend the festival, but the repairs should be finished as soon as possible. What to do? What to do? Oh, ho, Kali. Festival is about to begin? What do you expect me to say? Besides, of course I'll be there. Cleaning up the storm's aftermath may have been hard on us all. The lifting of wings is tradition. Joyous one at that. I won't sit here brooding my days away. Give me a moment to get ready. What? The flood is fixed? Our fallen friends will be glad to know that Ihihana will soon be underway. They would have wanted us to honor them with celebration, not 
let the loss deter us from it. I must go and enjoy the festival for those who no longer can. Please, eh? the festival was going ahead, I imagine. That is well. Once your friends return, the lifting of wings can begin at last. You have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. Just so. <coughs> Ukevu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Have faith, third promise, and climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. Go. Watch your puke. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest. But this is well, not, it's only is it's not entirely improbable. Mm. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers. A commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Listen well, friends! The personage we bear today is Wuklamat, the savior of our beloved festival! Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her! Day that Dawn's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, Gulung Jaja. Right. We've enough bears now. Onwards to Kozanuaki! Ima imagine that being a freaking. Imagine that ending up being a mountain in the game. Oh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> what, the boat? Yeah. Yeah. An updated version of the, uh. Nama the Namazu, Namazu float. Yeah. Namazu, yes. Watch well. For you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana. Uh, hello. The float draws upon our life force, 
concentrating and amplifying the energy. Kishaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. charm the float really was helping the reeds that was amazing to think that such a thing was even possible float behind like that i was so excited to see the reeds nothing to worry yourself over my brethren have been swept up by festival fever last i saw they were taking turns at the carrying poles on the way back to the village please feel free to look over the fields and enjoy the sight of what you've accomplished still look a bit sickly i imagine even the harvest magic has its limits if the hanu continue their festival tradition year after year though the entire field should eventually recover where does that leave us with the feet then you've got nothing to fear on that account our situation could never have resolved itself the revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognized the nature of the float and found a near-perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Ah, we have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and Reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. Connor! Uh, before we continue with this cutscene, a special hello to uh, Able Bodied Freight number uh, one. Thank you for following. Welcome to the sanctuary. I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. Oh, isn't that wonderful? What? 
You just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. I assumed that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the Studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Archon allies? You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Well, you always were the clever one, brother. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did. It was so much fun. Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little. About the reeds, about Ichihana. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. And I like you even more now than I did before. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. Two keys Five more done. To go. On to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's gonna for you. A third promise? You must join us for Ikikana next season. As Dawn Servant, of course. Right. It's back to Tulihola for now. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. Meanwhile, with the dipshits... The concoction was brought by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must. All right. Uklamat. My journey has just started and already I've met so many wonderful people. Wukevu for one. He's a bit eccentric, but everyone should stand to be as respectful of other cultures as he is. And Lino Hanu. It won my heart to see him honor his departed friend to Ihihana and to help others do the same. I can't help but feel excited thinking who else I might meet over the course of the contest. Come on, let's head back to Zel the Balearti.
I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name and I need to re to hear it again. Probably. Well, we're back in Tuliolal. Lamat. Look at us! The contest has only begun and we've already have two keystones! Surely even my talented brothers aren't doing this well. We can only hope. Alright, we are going to take a quick break and we will be back with more. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, there are all the links provided. See you in a bit.